Hey, what's going on? Uh, so you saw the thumbnail? Uh, we're talking about getting the band back together without breaking the bank, all right? Uh, so we're going to look at these three Star Wars Cantina member band figures that are in the 12-inch scale produced by Kenner in 1997 and in 1998. Anytime you see those two words, collector and series, or collector and item, together on the packaging of an item, that typically means that they made a million or more of them and that it is not going to be worth very much. So here we sit, 20 plus, 22, 23 years later, and these guys, you can find them for 10, 15 don't pay more than $20 a piece for these figures. All right. Uh, I collect this uh, scale, of course, 12-inch scale. But I also collect this series. And not so much these days, but in the past I did. And I have a number of these figures of, of from this series. But I've had these three guys on a shelf in my living room for three or four years. And I'm cleaning and organizing right now. And I took these guys down, and before I packed them away, I thought I'd do a quick little video on them. Uh, because this is a nice piece to put together if you're into Star Wars, and you like this scale, uh, and you don't want to uh, pay $200 for a 12-inch scale figure from Sideshow or from Hot Toys. There's a lot of figures that are in this series that are affordable and are quality, nice figures that display really well. So we have these three figures here uh, from the Star Wars Collector series. The first, the two on the on on your right. Uh, this fellow here playing this clarinet type instrument. His name is Tedden, and he's playing the fanfare. Uh, this fellow in the center. His name is Tech, and he's playing the Omnibox, or Omnibox, not Omni, Omnibox. And then on the far left, this character is from 1998, uh, a different line, and he is Barkin Dan, Barkin Don. Doesn't say the name of the instrument that he's playing. That's a really dusty box. Uh, sorry about that. All right. So, not much to these figures. They've got uh, an, a, a good number of points of articulation. Uh, the, the head sculpts and paint applications are great. Uh, but we're looking at, at the exact same figure three times. Uh, the, the two on the right have got matching pants. The, the, the guy on the left is all black. Um, they're really cool. It kind of reminds me of Devo a little bit, or um, like, I don't know, it's pretty cool having this band, right? I'd like to add, I mean, if they, what was the name of that character, the the, the vocalist, Cy Snoodles? Is that right? Um, I haven't seen a, that figure in this scale, that would be cool. So, I don't even know if they've made these characters or these figures in one-sixth scale, like Sideshow or or hot toys. I haven't. I didn't look it up. Maybe they haven't. This might be the only way that you can get your cantina band. But I'll tell you, even if it isn't the only way, this is certainly an affordable way because uh, you can pick these guys up and you can throw yourself a little trio together and Bing Bang Bong, you're rocking out to uh, that cantina jam. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.